doing the Zoom call because earlier um, you started, um, you, we were talking about the Great White and uh, yeah. some of the fins that you've been trying out. And uh, especially on the twin fins, and um, you felt that um, the twin fin wasn't working until you did something. So maybe you can uh, get into that. Just I was just saying, my friend and I were just talking about short boards, fishes, high performance fishes. Then it got into like Mick Fanning and then his surfing and his what he does and had me check video and all that stuff. So I tried it and it kind of just opened, unlocked the great wide in me where I can figure it out on every wave now and not just like, oh, there was a moment. It's more like, oh, dude, I got this thing wired. Um, it was kind of simple and something I've never thought of. All it was was most pros you watch, you look at their back foot, they move front, back and all that stuff. But he was like, look at Fanny. He moves his back, his front foot back. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, look. He's like, before he turns and cracks it, he'll drop the front foot back like three inches, just a quick little shimmy. And then it helps the board light up. So I went out to Huntington a couple times and, dude, it works. Like, it just made the board roll over faster, kind of made me feel like I'm five years younger. Like on camera rewind it just gave me a little more life in my pump it was kind of interesting how simple that was and for what 30 years i've never thought of the front foot moving yeah it's crazy man it Wasn't was good it when you're first because i can imagine if i jumped on a board and i put my front foot back a little bit i feel like i'd fall backwards so, dude my first wave i did the full kooky like the wheelie the like whoop like kind of like oh shoot reset <laughs> I'm like no don't reset like leave it here and figure it out and then and i did and it had good speed and it had a better response it felt like i was more on a on a short board like when you see kelly snap it quick and more alive and his quick twitchy muscles he does obviously not that level but my body and my twitch muscles were feeling a little more quickness in it wow. by just having your feet in a little bit narrower in a way so are you, I'm imagining if you're riding it on a, a weaker wave, you need... I do volume up because I'm dense. I'm like 185 at 5'7". Um, so I volume up to the 5'10", and I enjoy the low rails to make up for it. What, what's the volume of the 5'10"? I have it right here. It is exactly 32 liters. Oh, yeah, but the, the but the rails on it are um, pinched down like you're on a five nine shortboard rail, especially in the back end. I don't mind riding it in steeper surf because it holds so well, or it connects or engages in the face super well. You guys just had some good surf too, huh? We had some good surf for sure. The last waves I tested on or rode it or enjoyed it was like four to five foot Huntington, the R five foot, you know. Yeah, and it was. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I would I was so glad I was on it. Working at Fire where I have a you know, a decent quiver and I there wasn't another board I would have rather surfed. It was perfect for reals. And then I wrote wrote it with the twin plus twos with the little uh guitar pick. Oh, so you you um did you do pure twin or did you do the uh, No, I did ones? I have it right here. I did it I did it with our little like Oh, the little guy, the small nubster. And I kind of just leave it in there. I don't go any bigger. The board, me personally, I'm already stiff. So why do I need the board to be stiffer? So yeah, yeah. I don't mind the small fin in that board. I trust yeah. it in every turn too, which is cool. So have you tried it with other fins too? Um, I've tried it with a couple like wind type fins. Yeah. So far, what did I try when I first started? I didn't have these on. Um, I had some other future ones. E, I think I did ENs and T1s. Oh. Um, yeah, there's certain things I liked about those, and there's one thing I didn't like on the T1 back fin, but the side fins were good. But I feel like this board can handle a large variety of twins for sure, where yeah. some boards are very glitchy with certain fins. Yeah, I've been um, riding it with the uh, Rastas. Yeah, I really like it. The Rasta Twins? Yeah, two plus one. That, I could see. I like that. I like Rasta's back fin for this board. Yeah. 
Um, getting techie, the T1s are good. The back fins, if you look at where that one is on the base of the fin box, it's further back. So I don't like any more extra because the fin box on this one's so far back already. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, but the flex and the great white and the volcanic, I was, it feels good. It doesn't hurt. It only helps for sure. Oh man, I gotta try it with the um the endorphin uh twin plus. I, I think you'd enjoy it. Going yeah. smaller back fin with the stiffer sides that we make kind of complements each other i did try I just a pure twin on the rostovich and it, it was good and before i tried it, it actually like had a, yeah i had a chance to talk to mike we used to get boards from him like 20 years ago and yeah. um i had a chance to mike talk Wu. to him yeah mike Wu. and uh i was asking him is, is this really you can really twin fin this because so many board you know the fin placements either twin or, or thruster and he said yeah right makes it right in between the two so I was like, oh, I was more confident of taking it out. Because I don't want to paddle out. And then you find out it's junk and then you got to paddle in and change fins. Right. No, I'm with you on that. If you get thrown off, your whole session could just suck. Yeah. <laughs> we can't um, recover like the pros. <laughs> no, there's no regrouping or anything like that. Someone will eat you up out there and you yeah. have less waves all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this board going off of like you running as a twin. It's kind of weird because I've never wrote a performance twin where you don't slide out. When you like go smaller fin or no no back fin, this board, the way Mike made it, like you said, it's oddly trustworthy on everything. It's yeah. weird. You don't expect that because you expect a slide out somewhere. But this yeah. board, it, it doesn't do that. Kelly looks really good. He looks like his old, old self when he's, when he's surfing this board. Dude. I he serves his board super good. Yeah. Those videos we post and I remember him at pipe doing little three sixties in the in the event uh back door. I don't know if you remember it was like four foot. And he's like just spinning the board around, flying, getting barreled. And then you watch it hold like in videos of his JVA. You're like, dude, the board pretty much will let you do anything if your ability is there. Yeah. So it's a good surfing improvement kind of board. It helps you surf better for sure. Hey. yeah it's a yeah. little bit of background about you and your dad and yeah. i found this out what about a month ago and i didn't know um can you give me a little bit of history my dad's been shaping uh surf pep surfboard since 86 so as a kid being four or five i've been around boards a lot watching him and then helping him at his surf shop or factory so i'm all in surfboards my life talking surfboards my life it's a joy it's it's what i grew up doing it's my passion so it's in my blood so yeah um and it's been cool to meet a lot of people through my dad and i got this job i could thank him for it and the knowledge i have because of him for what i do now for yeah. sure <laughs>